Now, once it's open, here's what you want to do. You want to click on blank solution. Click on it. Then you will select .NET Core under Web under Visual C Sharp and then you'll select Class Library .NET Core Visual C Sharp. Change the name to whatever you want. I'd say change the name to whatever server name you want. So I'll just write GTA 5 RP. And then I'll change uh, the directory for where it is going to be installed. I'll just change it to E. No, wait. I won't change it to E. Rather, I'll go to D. And new folder GTA 5 RP. Oh, I already have that. I'll delete it again new folder GTA 5 RP and select folder and OK now wait for it to create the project the solution just wait for it a brief moment now Here's what's the main thing that's going to start happening. This is the place where you'll be coding your server-side script or your client-side script, whatever you want to say. First thing first, we are going to get the GTA Network API. That is the namespace which we'll be using to communicate with the, the GTA 5 server. So we'll go to Tools. NuGet Package Manager and Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Click on it. Click on Browse and then search GTA Network API. The first link GTA Network API by GTA Network and Rage Multiplayer. Click on it. Click on the project GTA underscore 5 underscore RP and then hit install. Now it's going to start installing. It might ask for uh, accept, decline, terms and conditions. Just wait for it and accept it. As you can see, now it's asking for a license acceptance. <clears throat> Just hit I accept. Now you can see it has been successfully installed. You'll see that the installed button has been grayed out and in the dependencies, NuGet, you have GTA network.api. That means it has been successfully installed. Now we are going to change the target framework. We do not want to work with the framework 2.1. Instead, we'll be working with 2.0. So right click on GTA, uh, the solution, the solution GT underscore five underscore RP and go to properties. You'll meet with this sort of a page. Do you see this target framework? Just click on it and change it to .NET Core 2.0. Let's see, build, you don't need to change anything in build event, nope, package, nope, debug, yes, you need to change something over here. Do you see launch? Change it to executable. Now you need to show the path where the server.exe for RageMP is. So I'll go to browse and then I'll search for rage .m, rage mp uh, server files server.exe open and then in the working directory you need to give the directory path so again the same thing games rage mp server files okay signing nothing resources nothing and then just control s and save it now you can close this. Now we will create an XML file which will redirect where the compiled build 
will be stored. So click on right click on GT underscore five underscore RP and then click on add. Click on new item. In the search bar, just type XML. You'll see an XML file and add. Change the name of the XML file to to Meta M E T A Meta. Now over here, you need to write a specific code. This is the code. I'll link this in the description box as well, so don't worry. Control all, paste. Over here, I'll change the name to the game mod name and in the source, I'll redirect it to the place where the game, the build, the build game will be compiled. So first, let me find that directory. It's in bridge resources, uh, GT5 RP. Okay, here we go. This was my first mistake. I placed it in the wrong place. It should be inside server, the Rage MP server bridge, but instead I placed it somewhere completely else. So I'll just uh, cut this, or rather, no, I'll cut this one. Cut, close Visual Studio, save. And then I'll paste it in, where is it, where is it, games, rage mp, server files, bridge, resources, and I'll paste it right over here. Now after you've done this, let's open the solution again. Finally, okay, dependencies, NuGet, uh, it's gonna figure itself out, hopefully. Yep, done. Dependencies is good. Meta, Meta is okay. Now we need to change example resources to where the game build will happen. So let me just close all of this. Uh, GT5, you can get deleted. Games, Rage MP, Server Files, Bridge, Resources, GTA 5 RP, Bin, Debug, Netcore App 2.0. We need this path. So I'll just copy from Bin till Netcore App 2.0. So copy paste, backslash, and then I'll change the name to the name of the game mod. So it's, it'll store in bin debug netcore app 2.0 and it will look for a file gta underscore 5 underscore rp dot dll. Now save this file. Once it's done, we'll go to class 1. No wait, we still have one more thing to do which is server files back uh, okay not server files rage mp after doing meta.xml we need to change the settings the settings will declare which folder is going to run so we'll go to rage mp server files bridge and then settings.xml double click on it you can see over here lots of things. We will remove this source and instead of admin, we will write the name of the folder which has our code, which in my case is gta underscore five underscore rp. Saved. We'll close this now. Meta not needed anymore. Now we'll go back to class one. And now just put using GTA Network API and instead of class 1, I'll rename it to main and it'll prompt me to change the name of the class